Hey everybody, this is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borek. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy News widget at the end to keep us growing to the goal of 200 by the end of February. Really appreciate your love and support this far. I couldn't have done it without you. But let's get into another game where the Flyers show a better effort in a large majority of the game, just like they did in the second game in Detroit and in the game in Pittsburgh, only to have mistakes lead to them collapsing in the end. The biggest mistake being the game leading goal to Garnett Hathaway after he scored one. Off of his um, off of his shorts there um earlier in the game while having good net front traffic only seconds earlier, uh, Hathaway then is able to bury one, <clears throat> um in order to give them the lead. Uh, this was a game very similar to the Pittsburgh game. The Flyers are able to obviously in the Pittsburgh game the Flyers are able to jump ahead and have a lead earlier, but the Flyers have a lead. And then in the end, just find ways to throw it away to the other team. Um, they really, unfortunately, hung Morton Jones out to dry, especially with the goal that Garnett Hathaway uh, was able to take the lead on. Ivan Provorov, I don't know what he was doing on that play. He made a play earlier in the game, too, excuse me, where he just held on to the puck like a quarterback that just doesn't pass and gets sacked for some reason and turned it over where I didn't, I didn't know what his goal was there. I believe that play was in the first period. And then he made this play at the end where he boneheadedly turns it over and it leads to the game winning goal to Garnett Hathaway. That's been really the telltale thing of the Flyers all season, um, which is they have moments where they start looking like, oh, maybe we'll finally get the win column here and start doing some things where, like they said, what was it like nine wins in the last 35 games since they went 6-2-2 two, two to start the season or something like that? Like, the... The team hasn't been playing well. They've been finding ways to lose, where teams like the Capitals, even though they've been struggle bunny, going back and forth with win-loss, are a team that's still primarily because they're in a player spot, and that's for the reasons of they find ways in the end to at least go back and forth and find ways to win. The Flyers can't even do that. So um, in this game, they did get scored on first. Matt uh, Kempe scored at the end of the first, So, but then Jerry Mayhew had a very nice goal in the power play that Frost didn't get an assist for, but helped to originally set up. Lindblom had a very nice assist. Ratcliffe had a very nice assist as Lindblom's playing much better, like I said in the preview, and Ratcliffe's playing very good with sides, can cover ground with that size since coming up, and Mayhew has five goals uh, in 15 games because that was his fourth goal, and then Joe Snively scored his fourth goal in the power play for Washington to give them the lead after that. For then Jerry Mayhew, too, after Sanheim scored uh, his nice goal on the tip-in, assisted by Konechny in front, Mayhew then scored his fifth to score two goals in this game and had a couple more chances. He was flying around the ice. Sanheim played really well, jumping up on the play. This was probably one of Sanheim's best games. Jerry Mayhew's been very good. Lindblom's been very good. And Ratcliffe played very well, and then we always expect G to play well. So there was a lot of positives, honestly, as, as you can tell from what I'm saying in this game, in my own opinion. It's just, in the end, it's the same crap again. The Flyers make mistakes that cause them to falter. They're not the team that has enough uh, net front aggression, where, like, Garnett Hathaway scored those dirty but good goals. Uh, Joe Snively is a little guy that's pretty much my height at 5'8", 5'9", and was able to stay up on his feet in front of the net. You have to box those guys out, especially those size guys better. He played really well, an undrafted guy. Um... That did that played really well in Hershey when I got to cover the Lehigh Valley fans and still do for Flyers Nitty Gritty and got to watch him in Hershey. But he, he's not a guy that you should be letting just dominate you in front of the net out of Yale University. So um, the Flyers, they're just not blocking out their own net front on defense, hanging out their goaltenders to dry too much. They obviously hung out their goaltender to dry on the Yvonne Provorov turnover there that gave them the lead. And then when all is going bad, you're going to have those goals that are the uh, bounce goals on the empty nets that are just the perfect bounce that John Carlson hits around the boards. Look like it could have hit Hathaway's stick. That would have then made it a high stick and not a goal. But then that, you're going to have those goals that go in. Um, because everything's going wrong for your team, those are one of those goals that when everything's going wrong, they go in against you when everything's going right. You score those empty net goals yourself. The Flyers, again, were up really late in the game. Garnett Hathaway ties it, and once he tied it, Drew kind of talked about it in his press conference, too. Like, this team, once something starts going wrong in a game, like they play well in Detroit, I think that's the game he was talking about, um, th then they just ca can't kind of end it and figure it out in the 
end and bounce back. Like, they have had good games in Detroit and Pittsburgh. And then whenever it started faltering, though, it just has completely faltered. And that's kind of been where this team's been. And that's been an issue. There's been a lot of positives. I highlighted the players that I thought played really well in this game. And TK had a lot of really good play in this game. has been on a hot streak as well. The problem is you got to close out. And you got to build on that because you want to see these young guys continue to grow, continue to play well as they have. And guys like TK and Limblum continue to come back to playing really well. But you need to finish out in the end because you want to at least get these guys some winning experience as well where the Flyers can't close out. But at least in Solace, they've been more competitive against the Red Wings in Detroit, against Pittsburgh, and then now against Washington. That Detroit's right outside of the playoffs, going to miss it most likely unless it Boston collapses, but is a much better team than the Flyers. And then they did that against two other playoff teams being very competitive. Now it's about trying to find ways to close out. It's been much better the last three games overall effort. Now it's about trying to find the closeout because, yes, I too also at this point would like a really good drift because this team's not going anywhere this year. But it's still nice to mix in wins here and there to help grow and help um, mature these young guys and actually get some wins under their belt and not just get their feet wet in the league. You feel me? So uh, everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please continue to subscribe down below. Above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing to 200 by the end of February. Thanks so much for the support. Hopefully, the Flyers can uh, bounce back and play a very tough team, hence, very, uh, stress very tough uh, in the Carolina Hurricanes, former Flyer Rob Brindamore's team, on Monday, at, on President's Day at 3 p.m. Peace out, everybody.